Hello everyone, Jason Gervais here from WebROI with my uh, weekly website return on investment uh, COVID-19 update. Uh, hopefully this video finds you well. Uh, this week I just wanted to give a few updates on some articles that I found uh, over the interwebs and I'm including the links as well so you can have a look at them for more details. But here's my summary. Uh, the first article is through the um, it's called the Chronicle of Higher Education and why you should ignore all the coronavirus inspired productivity pressure. It's actually really interesting. It discusses the stages of adjustment during crisis written by uh, the author has been through a number of different crises in his lifetime. And um, the first stage is security where we all feel disoriented, lost, anxiety, feeling bad, uh, focused on really just security measures, making sure you have enough food, that your family, your shelter is taken care of, uh, looking after your friends and those you care about. And a lot of people are, are thinking about their fitness, especially now in uh, staying healthy for, with the possibility of catching the coronavirus. So um, that's kind of the stage I feel that <clears throat> the first two weeks of this, uh, since the, the lockdown began, I feel that, you know, we're, at least the way I, in our business and in my personal life, I feel that I've come through that, uh, that first stage. And now I'm moving into phase two, which is the mental shift where security has set in um, and your mind starts craving more demanding challenges. Your brain kind of resets and you're, you're now adapting to these new crisis conditions. Uh, so you're becoming more uh, proactive and, and effective in your thinking. And then the phase after that, hopefully as we reach our peak and uh, we've hopefully flattened the curve, uh, as they say, and we're seeing success in that. Then we get to move into phase three, which is embracing a new normal. We're getting toward the other side of the shift, starting to think more creatively, productivity comes together, and uh, we start to plan for life in this new normal. We don't quite know what that's gonna look like yet, but uh, I think we can all be fairly assured that life will look very different for the foreseeable future. <clears throat> The second article is uh, from uh, Search Engine Land, and it's titled, Google pledges $340 million in Google ad credits uh, for small and medium-sized businesses. That makes up a huge portion of their advertising revenue. Um, this is for eligible advertisers, and this credit can be used throughout 2020 across all Google um, platforms, such as Search, Display, and YouTube. To be eligible, you have to have had an active Google Ads account since January of 2019. Uh, there's still unknown variables such as how much a typical business will receive and the breadth of the coverage and when they will actually come into effect. Third is uh, from Search Engine Land also, reducing digital marketing due to COVID-19. Read this first. So naturally, a lot of businesses are reducing their ad spend, uh, and that does make sense, and it's necessary in some cases. Um, but uh, some key points that I grabbed from the article, essential service businesses are actually still flourishing online. Um, but a lot of, most others are definitely seeing a performance drop of 20% or worse in the first two weeks. So if you have an essential product or service, uh, you might even wanna ramp up your advertising investment. Uh, analytics data, your Google Analytics or whatever analytics tools you're using is likely skewed because now with your staff working remotely, when they go to your website, it's being, uh, it's being um, assessed by Google as external traffic. So it's like a random visitor. Whereas when you're sitting in your own office on your own IP or VPN system or whatever, that traffic is blocked out of your analytics. So it's not um, skewing those numbers. But when you're working remotely, a lot of your traffic could actually be internal traffic that Google is not recognizing as internal traffic. So it's important to work with your IT company or your, your web, uh, web, whoever's managing your website to make sure that uh, you're getting accurate data on your analytics. If you're not effectively using analytics, this is a prime time to start doing that. Um, you need metrics in place to properly make business decisions with respect to your online marketing. Uh, if you need help with that, reach out to my team. We'll be happy to uh, work on that for you. Um, 
if you are non-essential, consider pulling back. This is advice uh, from Search Engine Land. Pull back on your ad spend. Um, is your product or service a top priority for your consumers right now? If not, you probably are wasting money on, on clicks. Many industries click bids, so their cost per click is lower right now because there's fewer advertisers bidding on those, um, those advertising um, uh, clicks. So you're, it's a bidding system, you're bidding for clicks, and then that's what drives up the cost. So when there's fewer advertisers bidding on that, there's supply and demand causes the cost to go down. So if you have a product or service that is still in high demand, you should actually consider increasing your ad spend. You're gonna get a lower cost per click, but you need to keep a close eye on it, watching those ads, making sure you're getting a good return on your advertising spend. Use manual bidding instead of smart bidding. So you can kind of set it and forget it in Google if you're running the campaign yourself. It's actually can be detrimental to your success right now. You need to be watching it, uh, reevaluating your maximum cost per click setting, uh, shifting your budgets, changing your bids and tweaking your campaigns on a daily basis. It really needs to be watched closely. Maximize email. Email marketing is cheap and effective. Updates of your hours of operation, new business practices around COVID-19, uh, shifting your business to online. This is not the time to hard sell. Sales tactics right now are coming across really tacky. Um, I've, I've been receiving different emails. I see advertising on Facebook and I'm scratching my head. Like it's like, does this company even recognize what's going on? Are they ignoring it? I don't think it's gonna benefit your brand to keep advertising as you normally would at this time. You need to change your strategy uh, to this, this current environment that we're in. Nothing is the same, everything's weird. So we need to address the weird and, um, and almost, you know, um, harbor it and make it, make it work toward your, your marketing. Um, email is not gonna make up all the losses that you're likely to experience in the next coming weeks or even months. What it will do, however, is um, it will establish your brand where you're showing value during this time. It will instill trust among your customers, your, your, your potential customers, your existing customers, and I believe it will pay dividends um, in the future. Maybe not right away, but that loyalty that you build now is going to pay off in the long run. Continue the path of SEO and, and content marketing. This is very important, it stood out to me because it's not only what I believe, but it's being validated by what the industry is saying. Unlike your paid advertising, uh, we really recommend that you continue executing on search engine optimization and content marketing efforts. Uh, reviews of over a dozen websites in this article uh, whose organic performance has dropped found that they uh, most have flat keyword rankings. So in other words, they're still ranking as well as they did before this started for the target key phrases. Google shows a considerable, considerable drop in impressions despite the ranking staying the same. So it's not a search engine optimization or a ranking issue, but it's just a drop in demand due to COVID-19. So there's fewer people searching, but if you stop your efforts, you will hurt your business. It will hurt you when we come out of this. So it's very important to maintain your composure on online marketing efforts. If you've already backed off, I would even recommend reconsidering that and ramping it back up. Um, this is a quote right out of the article. If you reduce your SEO and content marketing efforts, you significantly risk operation, uh, organic rankings. Once search demand returns, and it will, you will still drive considerably less traffic than before the COVID-19 pandemic began. Right now, it is vital to maintain, if not grow, your SEO campaign. Nick Eubanks, the CEO of From the Future, says, I personally believe that companies that continue to execute on their planned digital marketing campaigns, and more specifically on their planned content and conversion strategies around SEO as an acquisition channel, will be poised for faster and more effective recovery when we come out on the other side. I can't overemphasize that enough. Online marketing, uh, content marketing, and search engine optimization 
if you do nothing else, they're critical to maintain right now. Um, the next article I found is uh, by Search Engine Journal, and it's titled Coronavirus and the Impact on Business So Far, Who's Up and Who's Down? So what industries are being impacted? Uh, this was based on a study done by Yelp, which is bigger in the US, and this was a US-based study, so take it with a grain of salt. Although I feel that uh, our economies are not that different, that it's probably very, very similar. The food and drink industries has seen an uptick in um, sourcing food from local support sources and farms, for example. Community supported art agriculture is up 157%, and imported food stores is up 172%. Takeout or delivery, Thai food is up 55%, pizza is up 53%, fast food is up 53%. Dining options that bring people together uh, are down naturally. Food courts, buffets down 32%. Breweries are down 57%. French restaurants are down 45%. And coffee roasteries are down 43%. Recreational businesses, people are looking for exercise more than ever before. Fitness and exercise equipment have seen a 162% increase. Hiking is up 135%, mountain biking is up 119%, lakes 86%, parks 62%, videos and game rentals up 41%, bowling and personal trainers are down 67% and 51% re respectively. Yoga is down 51%, amusement parks down 44%, flea markets down 33%, finance, taxes are down 26%, mortgage lenders are down 22%, Although cash, uh, check cashing businesses and payday loans are up 35%. So if you have a business where it can help people get fast access to cash, there's a good advertising opportunity out there for you right now. And uh, next I found from Google um, itself an update on uh, their support page. Limited Google My Business functionality due to COVID-19. So. Google has announced measures to reduce the need for people to go into their offices, resulting in temporary limitations and delays in support. Focus is on um, ensuring quality and reliability of information in Google search and maps, giving priority to edits for health-related businesses. They're also prioritizing updates on uh, hours of operation, so open and closed states, special hours, um, temporary closures, business descriptions, and business attributes and edits for verified businesses. So for verified businesses is a key thing. If you haven't verified your Google My Business listing, it is one of the most important things that you need to do for your search engine optimization. I can't overstress that. Your Google My Business page is the most important aspect of your Google presence, even more so than your website these days. So if you haven't um, verified your Google My Business page. We can help you with that. Reach out to my office. We'll be happy to help. Expect delays with other any other edits or even reviews. Uh, that's just not being prioritized right now with Google. They've cut their team back. Their revenue is taking a hit like mo many of ours and yours. So uh, just be mindful of that as you're looking for Google to, um, to uh, you know, be readily available for you. And finally, a little bit of fun for you, as I know we're all spending a lot more time in our homes and maybe we're struggling to uh, keep our family engaged or uh, I have two sons that live in Michigan, which uh, is really awkward and difficult right now. I don't be able to see them for God knows how long. Um, but this is an opportunity for you to maybe stay connected with people remotely. Um, I'm giving a link on a uh, a gaming platform called table, tabletopia.com where you can actually play board games remotely using your phone. Uh, a little bit of fun for the family. And I was playing chess with my son yesterday. So we're gonna try out some of these games so that we can have some uh, family time together. Anyhow, that is my update this week. I hope you uh, are enjoying these and getting value from them for your business. And I look forward to talking with you all again next week. Have a great week and uh, stay healthy.